You will not believe just how much time these six AI tools can save you every single day. You see, most AI tools do something cool, but they're not all that useful. Now, these are six AI tools that I actually use, and I know that they can be game-changing for you to save tons of time. First up, ChatGPT4. I pay for the pro version, and it saves me tons of time on the programming projects that I've been working on. And its understanding of what I ask it is usually very impressive. I can even lazily type like I'm talking to another person. Like if I'm coding, I'll say, do a loop like this. Or I don't like that, do it a more efficient way. For you data lovers out there, it was trained on 100 trillion parameters. And now it can handle 25,000 words. And just to demonstrate ChatGPT writing code, I asked it to write me a Python script that opens a text file and parses it into a dictionary. And assume there's some kind of timestamp and then key value pairs and it's got to parse out. As you can see, it writes some pretty good code and it's nice that you can just click the copy button. At the bottom, you can see it explain what the code is doing. Number two, Claude AI. Up until recently, Claude AI only had a free version, that's what I'm talking about now. There's a pro version that just came out, but we'll save that for another video. On the free version, sometimes you'll run into message limits. Some of the benefits of Cloud AI is that it allows you to upload files. You could upload a text file and have it analyze it for you. And another thing I like about Cloud AI is its conversational style. It's really good at explaining itself so I can understand, and it also does a great job at summarizing blogs that you paste in. And if you guys do any type of marketing, like marketing emails or sales copy, Claude is really good at that too. To me, it demonstrates a good grasp of psychology and marketing. Without even telling it specifically what to do, it can use concepts like social proof, authority, urgency, scarcity. You can see that it wrote some pretty good hooks here. I gave Claude some hooks that I liked, told it to make more hooks based on the psychology of these. Number three. Emo GPT. I really like this one because you can install the extension and then it's inside your Gmail. This one is great for helping you write just your everyday emails. You can use it if you're emailing back and forth trying to schedule a time for something or for formal or business emails or just like redundant emails that you don't want to just keep typing out. And it's pretty awesome. You just click the yellow smiley face at the bottom of the window, pick from the different options what you want to do. This is a massive time saver. Here's number four, Google's Search AI. This is a great addition to all the Google searches that you're already doing. It can usually answer your questions in a clear and easy to read manner. This can help you save time because it makes finding detailed information really quick. I was able to install it by searching how to access new Google AI search. In this example, I searched Google the best way to run. And then the generative AI results come up and you can see it has some different articles that say proper running tips. It's kind of telling you specifics right in this window. And it's cool, you can ask follow-ups. So you might not always use this, but if there's some specific questions you have that aren't turning up good search results, then you can consider using this. Number five is Adobe Photoshop Beta. I'll tell you that I have used Photoshop for tons of video thumbnails and all kinds of stuff for years. I'll say it's one of my favorite softwares of all time, so I might be a little biased. But now the best thing is with AI, Photoshop is even better. Some of the new features it has is you can remove background people just by circling them and clicking a button. And you can basically add anything you want to the image just by typing it in, clicking, generate. If you need to expand your photo, you can use AI to expand it vertically and horizontally. And in my testing, it usually looks pretty realistic. You're not gonna have to spend tons of time clone stamping anymore. So now Photoshop with AI is so powerful and it's gonna save you tons of time. Our last tool and number six is Midjourney. Midjourney is just great at making images from scratch. You basically just type what you want to see and then it generates four options for you. I'm a big fan of Midjourney myself and I've used it to make a bunch of AI picture slideshow videos. One example of those, if you're not familiar, is countries as people. Another great use of Midjourney is quickly generating images when you just need them right now. It really comes in handy when you need something custom that you can't find on a stock footage site. A cool thing that you can do is make your own server on Discord with Midjourney I invited the Midjourney bot and I added a face swap bot as well. You can see here that I generated some cool superheroes. You go to apps and then in swapper. I was able to put my face in that picture with the face swap. All in my own custom Discord server. And it doesn't stop there. You can use Discord to make Instagram posts, YouTube banners, logos, and a bunch of other stuff. And the important part here is that it's really quick and efficient. Instead of searching online, make sure it's royalty free. Type in a prompt, wait 20 seconds, and you're good to go. Now Midjourney lets you make changes to the picture that it already generated. So that's my list of the six AI tools that I use all the time. They make my life easier, and I'm sure they'll make your life easier and help you get work done a lot quicker. 
And what do you think? Are there any game-changing AI things that I'm missing out on? And also, feel free to check out my site in the description below. If you're looking to build your own lucrative brand just like I am doing, and there's no better time than right now to build your own brand and set yourself up for the next few decades. See you soon.